a Union Army Civil War camp in the heart of the South Carolina Low Country. Hi everyone, Amanda here for Family Tree Nuts and I'm on present day Naval Hospital Beaufort compound, a 127 acre compound that historically was once home to Camp Saxton. Camp Saxton was named for General Rufus Saxton, who was a staunch abolitionist. It was on land that was owned by the John Joyner Smith family, and it was in his family from 1785 to the beginning of the Civil War. Now you may ask, how was it that the Union Army was able to set up a Civil War camp just south of Charleston only after six months of battle in the Civil War? Well, that came to be by virtue of the Union Navy winning the Battle of Port Royal Sound. In November of 1861, again, just a few short months after the first shots of the Civil War being fired at Fort Sumter in April of 1861, and Fort Sumter was in Charleston Harbor, which is just a hot skip and a jump up the coast from here. And in November of 1861, the Union Navy sailed into Port Royal Sound, firing on the two Confederate forts that were protecting this body of water. It was a decisive Union victory. This victory resulted in what was called the Great Skedaddle, where all the wealthy plantation owners fled inland, leaving their coastal plantations open for the Union Army. The Union Army did come in, first landing on Hilton Head Island and then making their way north here to Old Fort Plantation, the plantation of John Joyner Smith. And here they set up camp, again called Camp Saxton. The slaves that were left on the plantations actually were called contraband, spoils of war. And the army powers that be saw great potential in this manpower, so they started recruiting. And so the first troops of African descent in the Civil War were the first and second South Carolina volunteer colored infantry. They received their regimental colors in a ceremony on January 1st of 1863 with Sergeant Prince Rivers and Corporal Robert Sutton receiving the colors from their commanding officer, Colonel Thomas Higginson. This was a ceremony of great significance, both here locally and around the nation. So we have a separate video regarding that because it deserves its own mark in history. I hope you've enjoyed this video that I've enjoyed bringing to you. Remember, family tree nuts. Let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree. Like what you see? Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the little bell so you get notifications as to when we post new videos. And you can find out more about us and contact us at familytreenuts.org.